The buildings that comprise the old Naval Observatory served as more than incubators of innovation. They played an important role in our history too, with a memorable chapter during the Civil War, the era of brother against brother. In the years before the Civil War, the Naval Observatory was a training ground for young officers who were just graduating from the Naval Academy in Annapolis. They would come here, they would learn celestial navigation because these were gonna be the officers who were gonna command ships in the U.S. Navy. Little did anyone know that they would command ships in two navies, the Union and Confederate navies. Prior to the Civil War, we had two officers who worked here, uh, a man named uh, John Brooke, a Floridian, and a man named John Warden from New York State. In 1861, they went their separate ways. John Brooke joined the Confederacy, and his most famous job in the Confederate Navy was to raise the USS Merrimack from where it had been burned uh, at the Gosport Navy Yard in Norfolk, and his job was to raise it and convert it to an ironclad, renamed the CSS Virginia, but always known under its original name, the Merrimack. John Warden from New York remained loyal to the Union. His most famous job in the Union Navy was commander of the USS Monitor. Brooke and Warden became not only enemies, but synonymous with one of the most epic naval battles of all time, the battle between the Monitor and the Merrimack, marking the demise of wooden warships. While the war raged on, and with the Confederacy just across the Potomac River in Virginia, the astronomers nevertheless maintained their work schedule. Asaph Hall was a man who would rather look through the eyepiece of a telescope than eat. When Hall had the duty, he hated the arrival of unexpected visitors. He would close the trapdoor on the observation level, and then he would drag the big heavy observing ladder over the opening. And then, if you arrived unannounced, you could knock until your knuckles were bleeding. He was not going to answer. One night, he was at his post upstairs observing the night sky. Soon enough, he heard someone ascending the ladder. It is likely he began rolling his eyes, knowing what was about to begin, and sure enough, knocking. Unlike others who usually gave up after several minutes, this visitor continued to knock. The noise grew louder and more persistent. Hall had had enough. In a fit of rage, he moved the observation ladder and he reached down and he pulled up on the trapdoor, and much to his shock, up through the opening in the floor, came the stovepipe hat of Abraham Lincoln. Perhaps the unhappiest man on the planet at that time was President Abraham Lincoln. The war was going badly. Seven weeks or so earlier, the Battle of Gettysburg had been fought and it was a great Union victory. However, General Meade, the victor of that battle, failed to pursue the Confederates in their defeat. And so the war would drag on. His wife, Mary Todd Lincoln, was teetering on the edge of, of depression or perhaps even insanity. They lost their son, Willie, about a year earlier. The family was still in mourning. Uh, and there was no relief at home because the president lived where he worked. And so to gain relief from the stress of his office, he would often wander the city. On this particular night, he came to the observatory. 